our soul the value of the given and the accept. Okay? The formula when you have ungrouped data is we have the mini sub, mini sub x equals to the sum of x of i i from 1 to the n divided by this big letter U stands for the population mean. Okay, we have discussed how to expand the summation notation. If we're going to solve for its mean, we have to expand its summation notation. So we have x of 1 plus x of 2 e of x sub big n divided by big n. Your big n denotes your population or the total number of observation. X bar on the other hand is the notation for sample mean. Population and sample were discussed in the previous lesson, particularly in lesson one. Okay, so the notation for sample mean is read as x bar, which is equal to the sum of x sub i, i from 1 to small n. Okay, so the expanded, um, the expanded form of this summation notation is x sub 1 plus x sub 2 plus the delta plus x sub. Okay. okay, so if you notice, in the population mean, we use capital letter for the variable x and for the n. Okay, then for the sample, we use the small letter for the notation of its variable and the small letter n. Okay. So take note that if we recall, when we say sample, if um, this circle illustrates the list of observation in a sample, a part of it is what we call the sample. So if you want to get the population mean, meaning we are calculating, we are calculating the mean of the entire observations. Whereas if we calculate for its sample mean, we always use a part of uh, part of the observations of the entire population and so for its mean. Given and group data will also be sample mean. Okay. Let's say we have here this course the students in quiz number one um, test and statistics. So, let's say the scores of five students are 24, 31, 45, 34, and 28. So we wanted to determine the average score of the students using the mean. Okay. Since we only use um, some of students, or we only get the mean score of five students, we will be calculating the sample mean. Okay? Sample mean is equal to the sum of x of i, i from 1 to small n divided by small n. Okay? So if you are going to expand the summation notation, we have x of 1 plus x of 2 plus x of 3 plus x of 4 plus x of 5. Okay, so we have 5 as our 
last observation plus n equals to 5. Where did I get 5? Thank you for that. We have 5 students as our sample. Okay, so divided by 5 because n is 5. the sample mean. Our x sub 1 is 24, so we have here 24. Then x sub 2 is 31. x sub 3 is 45. x sub 4 is 34. And x sub 5 is 18. We divide it with 5. Okay, so if you will use your calculator to get the sum, you will get a total of 100. 62 divided by 5. Okay, if you divide 162 with 5, you will get 32.4. Okay, so therefore, I uh, you will interpret it in this way. The mean score of the students. Is one is thirty two point four or about thirty two points.